What's up, Cincy fam? How you guys doing tonight? It is Sunday night, um, chore night for Maddie. She had to do her dishes. Of course, we can't fit everything in our dishwasher. So we got this Scentsy dish up we wanted to try out. It is lemon verbena, or verbena, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, this is the new bottle with the flip top on the catalog. You'll see the pump. Uh, but we want to try this out. So we have a few things, not a lot, that weren't finished cleaning that Maddie just we let her load it up, let her finish off. So um, this goes directly into the water if you're one of those old school, which is very effective still, filling up the sink with water, pour some in there, or you can pour it directly on your sponge, which is what I did. I don't have anything in here, um, so we're going to see how effective this is. Uh, I have a our coffee mug, our coffee maker mug, which has some coffee stains on it. We'll see how good that takes that off. And then just a few other things, our tea maker. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see in there, it's um, tea that's been left in there for a little bit. It's kind of stained. We'll see if that takes, how easy that takes it off. So I have never used this. Uh, gents, I have no problem admitting that I do the dishes at home. Uh, I just got mad at doing the dishwasher, so I do everything else. So I'm going to turn on. I use hot water. I don't know if you guys prefer, prefer anything else. But I like to be hot and steamy, so you can get a close-up of that. Pretty stained. But I've never used this product, so I'm going to find out how good it is. Well, you can tell I never used it because it's, the lid's still on there. That was my fault. Oh, for sure, huh? I, I snipped it and then I closed it back up. <laughs> and now it's stuck. We will cut this part out. Okay. Let's see if I can fix that. Use a toothpick. I can't even grip it because it's really soapy. Use a toothpick. Okay, let me get a toothpick. Hold on. This will be part of our blooper reel. Hey, I don't. You can leave it going. I don't care. Is it on the table? I was too excited to smell it. Well, you should have used it. Well, I wasn't here. Wash some dishes. When we got it at World Tour, I was sniffing away. There we go. And and back in action. Now we're in action. So yes, it's sealed. You didn't put it inside or on top of this one? I'm gonna put it right on. Okay. So there's my. And I don't know how you got this as, again. I lather mine up. This is really, smells really good. All right, so. Close up. All right, so I scrubbed. I took it off pretty quickly. I mean, it wasn't, oh, wasn't but a few things, but I mean, now that Priscilla's watching me do the dishes, I guess I better do them right. I'm quick dishwasher. Okay, so it's gentle on the hands. It's not very, it's not very overpowering like some of the other fragrances that you... I don't know about you guys, I only use a few um, dish soaps. And uh, sometimes they just a lot of fragrance and that's them not cleaning anything. But this actually is not overpowering. It smells really clean. I'm, I'm going to do that tea next. Let's see. And it leaves it clean. You can hear it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, rinse off this other water over here. Plus this thing. Okay. This is what I'm in interested in because I. Let's see again. It is kind of dingy. Uh, the tea stained it in there. Put a little water in there. To get it going. But it's taking it right off. Oh, it's very lemony. If I. You guys ever had my tea? You know that it's the bomb. So. Oh my gosh, yes. We're in Texas. We're in Texas. We got that. All right, so. Time popping sweet tea. I uh, I always don't. I when I we run out, I don't always just empty out and clean it again. Like sometimes I let it. I just make more in the same thing in the same same setting. But I'm actually amazed that that was pretty easy. Ooh. So. 
that tea, this hasn't been cleaned like maybe three guns ago. So. Scrub around the rim to see if that will come off. Is this, how long have we had this jug? Uh, years. This is our first apartment, right? Yeah, we've had this for years, so. That dinginess came up pretty quick. I granted, some of it's from fresh tea, so. It's wishful thinking. See if it'll come off. It's years and years of sweet tea. It's cleaned every once in a while. I'm being afraid we never washed it. That bottom one was on there for a while. We haven't, I haven't made tea all week. Don't give any of my secrets out. And we just finished it, so that tea's been in there for a little bit. Yep, yeah, I can take it off. I still see a little bit, but not as Excuse much. Me. Maybe you're seeing some on the camera. I don't know. Wow. With real eyes, I don't see anything. Uh, you talking about that line right there? Yeah. Okay. I was wishful thinking. No, well, I was looking. I was doing the. Well, let's find out. That right there. Okay. That came out okay. really good. I wasn't doing. I thought you were talking about the outer end. I was, oh no no that part right there. I didn't see. I didn't. I wasn't really scrubbing there. Let's find out. That was like what in oh seven or oh eight we got this judge. Yeah, that's pretty old. <laughs> gone through Kool Aid. It's gone through. Tea. Okay, so yeah, that's just years and years of tea. You still see the line, but it's not as dark. Not as dark. Kind of just, it's just, it's also where the uh, the top yeah. sets. True. So, but it's not brownish anymore. All right. Everything else is kind of just. Well, let's try a glass. It's kind of dingy. You kind of see. Let's see how does how good this is on glass. Uh, I can't, I don't know if you can tell the light, this is a whiskey cup with ice, so it's a little sticky. Let's see how good it does. Glass. I like how sudsy it gets. It does get pretty sudsy. Look, this is, that's the first one. Look, it's been sitting in the water, absorbing the water. It's coming through the other side of the sponge. I haven't had to put anything else on. Look, it's sitting there. The water's running over it. I'm not doing anything to it. It's the water's absorbing, it's absorbing with the water, but... Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. now, you can see the Crown Royal 3D image on it now. Okay, turn off the water. I want to hear the squeaky again. <laughs> that there. was that was pretty. You know what? Glass is sometimes it leaves streaks. That doesn't leave it. Like I said, there's a little 3D image of a Crown Royal. I couldn't see it before, and now I see it. That's Cute. that's pretty clean. Oh. All right, cool. So that's the dish soap. This is the first time I've used this. I actually, I actually like it. So still with the same first cup. Be careful with the knives. Anything sharp, people don't cut your fingers. It's our coffee. It's our grinder. coffee grinder. Beans. This is usually pretty dingy, but look, still sudsy. Still smells really good, even though I my nose hurts because I've been sniffing all day. The ladies look shiny. That's awesome. I've never really been excited for dish soap before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we always put a filter in. We do clean this. Uh, it's brown coffee stains. I want to see if this takes it off. So I'm, I was amazed by the counter cleaner because the counter cleaner cleans it, like stains off like nothing. It absorbs it. So now I am. So that's really dingy. That's years of using this coffee maker. This one we got when we were at the. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Not a lot. I want to see. Yes, because it's concentrated. So let's see. Okay. And that, I tell y'all, I'm not making this up. I let's not waste it. I have washed this numerous times, and it's always just kind of like, all right, it's gonna stay brown. So let's find out. Let me get that. Can you get that scrubber bin? A little brush. Okay. So now, let, now let me let me get in the groove. Let's see if we can make it take the brown stains off. And like I said, I've never used this product. I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to put it to its limits. Because this is always brown. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's coming off. Yeah. Because they had that. I'm being honest. Not that we live dirty, but like I said, coffee filter, quick clean, and it's done. Now... Okay, so it's still a little brown, but it's not as bad as it was. The ones on the outside came off 
And guess what? The concentrated coffee goes down. A lot of it came off. So yeah, a lot of it came off. For a coffee maker. For a coffee maker. Yeah. yeah. There was a ring up here. Go back and watch the tape. <laughs> Doesn't lie. They actually cleaned it really well. I mean, I guess you're not gonna get all the brown off because it's a coffee maker. But that was pretty good. I wish we had something like. Now you put all the dishes in the dishwasher there. We're really dirty. We needed something really, really dirty. We needed something dirty. We need to make. All right, we're gonna make uh, baked chicken with barbecue and ran uh, barbecue sauce and bacon on top. That barbecue sticks on. Maybe I'll leave a plate aside to see how this does with grease cutting compared to your other dish soaps that clean to cut through the grease. Because I know the ones that we use do a pretty good job of it when it's a dirty dish, but I want to see, I want to put this one to the test. But for the initial test, not bad. All right, so look, I'll read. I, I put a little, just a little bit more. It's two little drops and it's still sudsy. And this is this was a clean bowl and just clean it again because it was over here. But. All right. So that was just a quick video. Uh, gents, don't, don't be scared to do lawn or do dishes. Uh, dish soap. Uh, this will be in the new, the new catalog. We'll have without the pump. It's now a flip top. And it smells really good. I can't get it open because my hands are slick. <sighs> Lemon, it's not much lemony, but it's really good. All right, that's it. I'm gonna finish the rest of the two dishes that I have. You guys have a good night.